Welcome back to a brand new episode of Monster and Programming. In today's episode, we'll simply be going over pickers, how to create them, and how to use them. I'll also be providing two separate examples, so you probably should be getting a good idea after this episode. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back guys, so I hope you enjoyed the intro as always. Now the first thing we're going to do is actually create two stat variables. So I want you to go ahead and type at state, oops, sorry, stat var, and the first one is going to be pets, and we're going to give that a value of one. Second one is going to be countries. And after that, we actually don't need the text, so let's go ahead and remove it. And straight away, we're going to start creating our pickers. So let's go ahead and add a section. Now, this is not um, the only way you can use pickers, but this is my favorite way because it's just simple, straightforward, and direct. After that, let's go ahead and embed a vStack. And inside of that, that's when we're actually going to start to create our pickers. Now, don't worry if this is not. Um, running live or if there's some errors that's normal just ignore it let's go ahead and type in picker and let's say selection and I'm going to oops, selection that was spelled incorrectly <laughs> and we're going to be um, referring to the pets so let's go ahead and put in a dollar sign and press enter and now we're going to be using the pets we also need to give this a label and because I want the label to change um, as you pick a different item, we're going to do the following. So let me just show you what I mean. So this is our label and this is our choices. And I want the label to change based on whatever um, object you pick in the picker. And I will use a very simple if statement here to actually explain that. Or well, it's not actually an if statement, but it does the exact same job. So we're going to use string interpolation here. And I'm simply going to say pets equal to one. And then I'm going to say question mark dogs two dots. And I'm going to explain exactly what I mean here, cats. All right, so let's just take a minute and actually kind of understand what I'm doing over here. So. I'm saying we're going to use the pets. If pets is equal to one, show uh, our label as dogs. If pets is not equal to one, then show pets as one. Uh, sorry, show the label as cats. Now you will get some errors, just ignore them. Simply go ahead and remove this. And let's give it some foreground color. And I'm gonna give it a color. of blue so again this is just that color right now after that i want you to open a zigzaggy bracket and inside of that we're going to put a bracket uh, sorry we're going to put a test text and the first one is going to be dogs and we're simply going to say dot tag sorry dot tag one and we're going to say text And the second one is going to be our cats dot tag and let's give that two so they have to be in order so now if we actually go ahead and run this we're you're going to notice that we have our first picker already done and if we actually run this we can use it and you realize that it changes and actually has all the functionality from our demo over here let's go ahead and pause this and actually start creating our second pickup. So now I'm going to show you how you can add multiple items in the same pickup. All you need to do is simply um, copy this and then paste it underneath because it's pretty much going to be the exact same thing. Except obviously change pets to countries. And I don't actually want to, I want to show you like a different example. So I will be removing um, the dogs and cats thing going on here. And instead, let's just give it some errors. So exactly the same as this one. And just before I continue, I want you to notice something. Um, 
oh actually i fixed it but let me show you so let's go ahead remove the countries and actually keep it as pets i want you to understand something if you change something here this one's going to change and if you change something here that one's going to change so because we're referring to the same object regardless of which picker affects that object everything referring to the object will be changed as well so that's why make sure you always have different objects referring to different things and doing different tasks so let's go back and fix this by typing countries just like that and now if we change this nothing is actually going to happen now of course we don't want dogs and cats but let's just go ahead copy this and paste it how many countries did we have in our first example here we had four I usually like things a bit uniform, so let's just go ahead and do that. Now we have cats, dogs, cats, dogs. Let's go ahead and change this to Australia. I'm just going to keep it as us. I'm going to keep this as Egypt because it's short. Germ. And the last one was France. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Anyway, just like this. So now, if we actually press resume, you realize that our example, our lesson here is finished we have our picker which has more than one item we have our oh sorry so just so you don't get any uh, crashes or anything like that make sure please make sure that you have your tags um, in order so one two three four if anything has the same value this will actually might or it might crash your app there you go this was how to use pickers now most likely you will be using this in um, a form or like in settings where you can specify some things so you can go to your iphone go to settings and you actually find a lot of examples where you can use this the most common example i have in my mind right now is when you're choosing like your gender on facebook or something like that and you get to choose whether you're a female or male or something like that you can actually use a picker thank you all for watching and please remember to leave a like and a subscribe have a good day